Welcome to the 10 Minute Mission, where we review Mission Pro Wrestling's most recent show, No Debes Jugar. I'm your host, Dr. The Wife. As the crowd walked in, we were warmed up for some great matches from the jumpstart. Mission Pro's next show, Bangers Only, has some awesome matchups in Dallas on April 2nd as part of GCW's The Collective. It is scheduled for 3 p.m. Winners from Crazy Train are representing Mission Pro Wrestling with other wrestlers such as The Hex, Thunder Rosa, and Lufisto. The tag team matchup Bougie Reality has been announced to go up against the Bionic Royalty, Kylan King, and Genocide. I can't wait for that match. We will definitely look it up online and watch those fights. Haley Ray is announced as the new Mission Pro Wrestling ring announcer. She introduces the first match with Diego Rene versus La Princesa Tiffany Nieves. Tiffany aggressively comes at Diego as she taunts him. Diego doesn't let that scare her as he starts off strong, getting Tiffany down to the mat and keeping her off balance. Tiffany comes back with snap mares and elbows, capitalizing on her close quarter game. Diego comes back with suplexes and attempts a few pins. Tiffany rolls Diego up for a quick, secure, and devious pin. She takes her win, her flag, and flaunts it on her way out of the ring. Up in the first match, Tiny Tennelly versus Jordan Blade. These two start off the match laser focused, each of them ready with grappling moves, very confident in their ability to get their opponent down. Jordan gets in and out of Tiny's moves as she uses her technical knowledge against Tannely. Tiny uses her size to her advantage to slip out of Jordan's grasp and utilize the ring to take the breath out of Jordan. But Jordan gets back on her A-game, gets a body slam in, and locks in an arm bar, which secures her win, forcing Tiny to tap out. Up second, Megan Myers scares the crowd as she slithers in ready for her match against Promise Braxton. Promise, not letting Megan phase her, starts off by grabbing Megan and flipping her down into the mat. Both ladies use their ring to the advantage, but Braxton's kick to the face following a face plant slows Megan down a little. Corner work against Braxton as Megan uses it to her advantage to bring the pain into Braxton's face. Braxton gets Megan back into a corner, but again, Megan turns that around and gets an opportunity to secure a tarantula on promise right into the ropes. Braxton catches her breath and takes Megan out with a twirling shoulder throw that knocks out Megan and earns her the win. Up next is J.P. Harlow, who is preceded by his charismatic manager showing J.P.'s bangers-only keg during this match that he earned from his matchup in Crazy Train. Khan emerges looking fierce and intimidating as he set his sights on J.P. Harlow. When the match gets underway, neither men waste any time to test each other's strength. Khan begins shoving and throwing J.P. around the ring, Khan's fury is unleashed, slowly destroying JP's energy and throwing him out of the ring. The devastation continued, but JP gets back into the match as he breaks Khan down by working on his limbs. These two men were brutal to each other as they twist, throw, drop, and suplex to crush each other down. JP ultimately comes out losing to Khan, whose pile driver kills JP's undefeated streak. Despite the loss, his manager comes out and shares with us that regardless of this loss, JP still comes out the winner because he is going to bangers only on August 2nd in Dallas. Speaking of upcoming shows, don't forget to get your tickets at missionprowrestling.net for their upcoming show, Living on the Edge, April 16th in San Antonio, where JP will also be wrestling. Check out either here or here for a special promo that Waldo just put out for JP. Bougie Reality comes out styling and preparing for their match against the double champs, the Renegade Twins. Tempers flare as the belt are passed around to Bougie Reality to inspect it, making the twins start the fight with some shoving. Rache starts off strong as she gets Robin down to the mat and encourages the twins to start their switch-offs. 
Roche continues her assault on Charlotte, bringing her switch to Maddie. Both Maddie and Roche prepare Charlotte and Robin for a bougie reality makeover, which leads into some bougie boots knocked into the twins. The legal pair returns to the ring with Maddie grappling Charlotte. Charlotte uses her ring awareness to get closer to where her twin was to get her assistance as she beats down Maddie. The twins go on the attack, taking their time to wear down Maddie, but eventually, Roche returns to the ring, a woman on fire, taking on both twins with a crossbody and laying to waste both of them with cross lines. The twins go on the attack, taking their time to wear down Maddie. But eventually, Maddie gets the tag, Roche returns, and like a woman on fire, takes down both twins with a crossbody. She lays to waste both twins as she also gets in a clothesline. The twins over it at this point. They go and grab their belts and give Bougie Reality a closer look at them as they smack them across the face with the belts. The Champ Champs remain with their title and Bougie Reality leave angry and planning their revenge. The gladiator from New Jersey, Raleigh Shepard, emerges, followed by Kylan King, who returns to the Mission Pro ring to cheers from her fans and mega fans. And finally, the party unicorn herself, Lainey Luck, also comes to the Mission Pro ring. All women ready and focused and begin with a test of strength to see each other's flexibility. Both women get Kylan down to the mat with Lainey Luck dropping an elbow on Kylan. Despite all of this, Kylan comes right back, dropping both women and using each of their momentum as a way to use them as projectiles. Lainey gets her luck back, giving big boots to each of her competitors' faces. Riley also gets a chance to take back the match, stopping Kylan's momentum. Outside the ring, Riley continues beating down Kylan, but Lainey Luck comes down with a crossbody, stopping all the opponents in their tracks. Each woman showing their strength, ability in the ring, and their skill. But Kylan overpowers both women, executing the Excalibuster on Riley and winning the match. The king leaves victorious, and someone needs to come get that woman's crown and just put it on her head. No one can touch this royalty. You can catch Kylan King wrestling alongside with Genocide in their tag team, Bionic Royalty, at the GCW Collective Bangers Only April 2nd against Bougie Reality. While child Jody Threat prepares herself for the kick demon Janai Kai, both showing a lot of intensity while in their respective corner as they eye each other down. Once the bell rings though, Kai tests the waters with a few kicks, a grapple move, just to get Threat on the ground. Both wrestle for control of the other, attempting pins while they were at it. Janai applies several throws, painful kicks, a butterfly suplex to wear down Jody. Jody returns the pain, smashing Janai's face into the turnbuckle before returning Kai back to the mid ring to continue working her down. Janai doesn't allow herself to be worn down, ending Jody's assault with a nasty sidekick. Both meet each other blow for blow in and outside of the ring, appearing evenly matched. They continue the fight well past the time limit and the match bell. They were granted extra time after the arena chanted for them to continue fighting. Even with more time though, the match ends without a winner. A 20 minute match leaves Jody angry at the officials. Will there be a revenge match against these two in the future? And now for the match of the evening. Holiday versus Jasmine Allure versus La Rosa Negra in a Lumberjill match. Jasmine Allure returns with her champion enforcers, the Renegade Twins. La Rosa Negra arrives ready for battle and fired up. Then from the other side of darkness, the champion of Mission Pro Wrestling Holiday arrives in a new form with the same intimidating energy. Jasmine Allure, the first to be pushed out of the ring, La Busadora and Holiday exchange chops with each other. Jasmine Allure jumps right back in the ring after having been pummeled by the Mission Pro roster outside the ring. All of the ladies not showing weakness were able to get themselves back up and on top of the match. 
some double teaming each other as they go against Holochamp, leaving La Busadora and Jasmine to go back and forth with each other, exchanging blows. All opponents continue exchanging chops, drop kicks, turns outside the ring with the other Mission Pro wrestlers, and ultimately, the deadliest thighs in the game find their mark as Holodet drops them on both her opponents. The craziest move executed this night was the attempt to trap Holodet upside down in the corner. But a surprise to her opponents, Holodet executes a German suplex as she was still hanging upside down underneath both Jasmine and La Rosa Negra and tosses them both to the other side of the ring. These ladies continue to go hit for hit with Lumberjills interfering between Holodet and Jasmine. Ultimately, Holodet gets La Rosa Negra down for the count, wins the match, while Lainey Luck kept Jasmine busy outside the ring. Jasmine Allure now very angry for having missed her chance and starts to brawl with Holodet. The Mission Pro roster attempts to jump in and keep the peace. La Busadora celebrates with Holodet, showing the champ the respect that she deserves for her win. And now, for the doctor's notes. Mission Pro fans, this has been yet another banger in the books. And the threat Janai match had us on the edge of our seats, only to come screaming down this roller coaster with the three-way match between Holodead, La Busadora, and Jasmine Allure. If you have not yet experienced this in person, get your butt out to Mission Pro Wrestling matches and you will not be disappointed. We here at Face for Wrestling caught our just desserts after the match with Waldo being the victor of the mission prediction. Miss Melanie from Auto Mission and TCBTX Photography dished out this week's punishments with delight. Check out the punishment here and tune in for our next prediction to see what it will be and who the guest punisher will be. Big congratulations to Thunder Rosa, the new... AEW champion. She won her championship belt during the recent St. Patrick's Day Slam last Wednesday against Dr. Britt Baker. It was a tough match, but we knew she could do it. Take some time to head on over to TitleMatchNetwork.com and re-watch this show and many others on the Mission Pro catalog. Check out the next show, Bangers Only, on Fight TV or in person in Dallas on April 2nd. Get your tickets for the next Mission Pro show in San Antonio, Living on the Edge, on April 16th at MissionProWrestling.net. Also, don't forget to check out, like, subscribe, and share Mission Pro Wrestling on all their socials. They have a lot of awesome content to include their after show on a mission, recapping the most recent shows as well as fantastic guests. Check out your favorite wrestlers on all their social pages and get your hands on their new merch. Or just come to the show and check it out for yourself. We look forward to cheering with you. Again, Living on the Edge has been announced for April 16th in San Antonio. Bell time, 6 p.m. Central. As always, we encourage you to come check us out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share Face for Wrestling on all our socials, including the YouTubes, for more clips, interviews, mission predictions, Mission Pro Wrestling 10-Minute Missions, 4 for 4s, and stardom reviews. We look forward to seeing you. This is Dr. The Wife. See you next time on the 10 Minute Mission.